All right, ladies and gentlemen, we had a request to do question three from our last exam. If this type of question was to show up on your final, I would add the title, neighboring group participation. Every mechanism has a title across the arrow, above the arrow, sorry. Now on the exam, when I did the key, I made a comment. Shall we look at the comment? Let's look at the comment, shall we? We got the key there. Yeah. Can't look at the comment. I buried it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Got the exam right here. Now look at the key. I just want to do the alternate mechanism that I mentioned in the key. So in the key, I said you could. You may reverse the order and attack the other ROTS first. I attack the one on the right here. I'm going to attack the one on the left in the mechanism we're doing right now. Just to show you what I mean by this sentence. And that makes this a very valuable video, I think. All right. So here we go. I'm going to do the one on the left. So here's your neighboring group that participates. It's got two leaving groups in this molecule. So it's NGP times two. I would not have that written as times two for you. You gotta figure that out on your own. And backside attack on a dash is a wedge, isn't it? So you're gonna copy the octagon. No change in the octagon. I've never drawn an octagon on an angle and I don't think I'm gonna start now. I'm going to do a vertical octagon because that's all I know how to draw. And then we had a wedge out here. OTS is gone. Methyl got pushed down here. So did Ibu. And we got a bond on another wedge. And sulfur is now a sulfonium. You have two choices of carbons to attack right now. You can attack this carbon in the triangle or this carbon in the triangle, which one is easier to get to? I'd say the one that has a hydrogen on it's easier to get to. The one to the right has a hydrogen on it, doesn't it? Less bulky. So my nucleophile is the selenide up here. It's coming in, backside attack on the least hindered carbon. And your ring, I think your ring just got bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's copy what we get. Okay. So I got a sulfur. Didn't touch this, 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 or this. But the bond between there and there is gone. That wedge stayed. This wedge stayed. The wedges go to the same place though. I'm gonna try to make them meet again. There we go. That's a carbon that has a methyl on it and an ibu. And my group is attached right here. Oh, I got R's I can use. Believe it or not, that's R. It's going to mess you up if I do that? No, it's wrong. R is secbutyl, not isobutyl. I thought I was being clever. I was being wrong. But there is an R on the selenium. It's already labeled for you. You don't have to label it. It's like butyl. How are we going to neutralize this uh, selenium, everybody? Oh, and I, yeah, I know. I forgot my OTS. Where's the OTS in both molecules? <laughs> There's a methyl missing on carbon three away from sulfur. And there's an OTS there as well. OTS. I don't want it uh, touching my red arrow. 
My red arrow's got a diversion on it. Oh, a blue diversion. That's not cool at all. There you go. There you go. And that's uh, one, two. It's on the third one over. One, two, three. OTS. I got to neutralize this thing. What are you going to neutralize it with? With the H. I got to take the H off. What did we take H's off with in the previous example? This thing here over the arrow, right? Lone pair. What are you going to take H's off with here? This thing. Yeah. You can use as many of those seleniums as you want. It's got lone pairs. Okay. And then we're going to have this. Try to make it a little nicer. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. And where's, where's, where's what? Where's what? S-E-R. Yes, sir. And then we got uh, uh, C, 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 C. C, 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 S. You good? Hope we're good. What's this? <laughs> okay, carry Oh, the racer's too big now. Let's tidy up down there. You got sulfur with a wedge, right? To a carbon that has a methyl, right? There is a wedge to that carbon, right? And that goes C, C, and that's where the sulfur is attached, right there. Right? One, two, three, COTS. One, two, three, COTS. Good. Now it's time to tackle the right side. That ring got smaller, didn't it? Oh, I lost a quarter point. Some of you who have lost this quarter point 10 times, show me you've learned and tell me how to get my quarter point back. I lost a quarter point with my last two arrows. I have to draw a lone pair on the sulfur. Don't want to keep losing that quarter point every time, everybody. Arrows have to start at a pair of electrons. Okay. So what are we going to draw? We're going to draw. It's getting ugly, but we're going to draw. Get sulfur with a methyl. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And then it comes down, da, da, da. Back side of that, oh yeah. Wow. And then it goes like, uh, yeah. Here's your two choices. It's gotta be one of the carbons in the small ring attached to the sulfur. Some of you are still having trouble with it. I put dots on them because there's your choices. Which choice is easier to get to? Left or right? Left. That's where we're going to put it. And notice the selenium is attached to a CH2, right? That's a CH2. That's not a CH2. We're almost there, everybody. And here's where, you know, you're gonna, sometimes you just want to trust the teacher, you know? Instead of drawing it based on what you have over here, why don't you look at the product and draw it like the product and then tell me where there's an extra H. I'm just copying that product.
You just tell me what's missing from this When I do this mechanism, I'll get the SE attached to a CH2. That's the CH2. I'll put a green dot on it. But look at RSE is bonded to H. Is RSE bonded to H now? Well, that's where you got to add your H. And how does that become this? Same way it did last time. RSEH. So use RSEH four times. Twice as a nucleophile, twice as a base. Yeah, that was tough. But the NGP on the final, I won't make you do a double NGP on the final. Not happening. This is a final. We're trying to be general, right? This is very specific. So it'll be about half as long. Okay, I promise. Won't be a double. Straight up one NGP.